Hey you salty sea lions, welcome to my October favorites video. Favorites videos are some of my most favorite videos, <laughs> get it, um, to do. So I'm very excited about this one. And, and as usual, I'm just gonna jump in because I don't like delaying things with this part. So there's only two actual tangible items in this month. Yes, that's true. Um, and the first one is cold brew coffee. I've talked about coffee before. I've talked about cold brew before. I really like chameleon cold brew. I think that's what I talked about in a video of favorites past. Um, but I've started brewing it myself because I'm that person now and I won't go back and I won't apologize. Obviously you can use whatever coffee beans you like. I have been using <laughs> this coffee from Aldi. I don't know if you've heard of that grocery store or not. It's kind of weird in there. My mom really likes it and then now I live near one. It's a little culty. <laughs> And uh, I guess now I've joined their cult because I'm here telling you about it. But they have really good organic fair trade coffee and it's $5 a bag. Um, it's like They're like a German grocery store and they're cousins with Trader Joe's or something. Anyway, um, the coffee's really good and it's really cheap. But basically cold brew is super easy to make and it is delicious and it's a lot less acidic and since uh, most of my blood is replaced with coffee at this point, um, because of the procedure I had done. I really appreciate the, it's like 60% less acidic or some crap like that. Let me know if you want me to do a video where I show you how I make the cold brew. It's literally, I just grind the beans and then I put them in a pitcher with water. I leave it on the counter for a day. I guess I don't have to make the video now. No, but if you want me to actually show you in like proportions and stuff, then I can do that. But it's nice. And then I put a little kosher salt in it because the people at Cook's Illustrated told me to do that. When they tell me to do things, I just do them, and I'm never upset about it. Um, but yeah, thumbs up. Very delicious. Second actual physical item is a little stealth promotion. That's a phrase I just made up for when you stealthily self-promote yourself. It does feel like I've removed some of the stealth by addressing it so openly, but we're just gonna pretend. So if you're subscribed to my channel, then you probably do know that I designed a magnetic makeup palette and we did a Kickstarter and it was successful. And I went, um, I kissed my computer screen on all of your names. Uh, maybe you don't know that part, but it happened. But if you didn't know that now you do. And I am so excited to say that after <laughs> literally years of working on this today, we launched our online store and you can now buy the palette and have it shipped all over the world. So to those of you that couldn't do the Kickstarter because you don't live in the United States, we now ship literally everywhere. So yay. And in case you didn't see it before or you forgot what it looks like or you just want to look at it again with me, here it is. It comes in black and gray. And look, now it has a tag. It's a real thing, guys. And look, the tag is very pretty. Uh, I've been told I get a little too excited about the tag, but... Gotta enjoy the little things, right? And also, it comes in pretty tissue paper. Can you tell how pretty it is on the camera? I don't know. I'll show you the insides. It has a big mirror, and this one has a bunch of empty metal pants because we're working on putting some makeup inside there, and we'll keep you updated about that, obviously. But right now, just ignore those. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so it's a big magnetic sheet, and it closes so satisfyingly and it's very pretty and now you can actually see reviews of everyone else from it because people that aren't me have now purchased it and seen it which is super exciting also if you go to our website before this sunday november 4th and you buy the palette you get invited to our live stream lunch party makeup class that we will be having so you should go do that because it's going to be a fun time okay i will stop talking about it now Thank you guys that already purchased it. Thank you guys that left reviews and sent messages back. So far we have had exclusively positive feedback and there have been much eye water spilled. My next favorite is the television show The Good Place, which if you're not watching it, please, please watch it because my heart's been broken a lot whenever there's like a really weird and really good show on mainstream television. They tend to get canceled. I think this one's actually doing well in the ratings, but just watch it to make sure that it stays that way because it is hilarious and delightful and strange and every actor on it is so good. It stars Kristen Bell and Ted Danson and a million other people that are so good. I don't even want to say anything about it, but just watch it because it's, it's 
just a beautiful thing. I actually quoted it in my last video, the zombie one the other day, um, with my little chili babies comment, because in the episode a couple weeks ago, there, one of the characters was teaching a class and he says, here's the thing about little chili babies. And when I was watching it, my friends turned and looked at me and they were like, you have to use that in a YouTube video, right? And I was like, I mean, yes. So anyway, you practically watch it already and you should just make it official. All right, next favorite. If you are not familiar with the rapper No Name, you should familiarize yourself because she is so talented and she's just a really cool independent artist and her music is amazing. The song Shadow Man is Honestly, one of my all-time favorite songs. It's a collaboration with Saba, who I also love and I've talked about in my favorites, and Smino, and it's just beautiful, and I really hope you do listen to it because I've had it on repeat all month. And yeah, it's not its not just like a song that I'm liking right now. I truly think it's one of my favorite songs of all time. So I will put a link in the description box, and you should listen to it because it's like music to your ears, which is a weird thing to say about music. All right, moving right along. The next one is a dancer named Jojo Gomez, and she is a bad bitch. And you should follow her on Instagram because um, every time I watch her videos, I'm like, oh, oh, whoa, okay, well, excuse me. Let me get out of your way. She's so fucking cool. And yeah, you should follow her. And I'll post a link to one of my, I'll just pick a favorite because I like all of her videos pretty much. But um, I'll post one in the description box and you can see what I mean. You're just like, yes, whatever you're saying, I'm totally agree with you. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what your favorite things have been lately because really truthfully, I have found so many things that I love from you guys doing that. So thank you, got some great taste. And um, you know, just if you feel so inclined to go buy these, then do that. And let me know what you think because the praise is going straight to my head and I love it. All right, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Kiki Makeup. You can also follow Salt at Salt New York on everything. And if you don't do those things and subscribe to this channel and like this video, wow, I'm giving you guys a lot of homework and it's starting to feel gross and I'm sorry about it, but I'm doing it anyway. If you don't do those things, then I will... I will buy the Netflix Corporation and I will change it so that uh, like every four and a half minutes it stops to ask you if you're still watching and you get that like weird guilty feeling that you shouldn't still be watching just way more often. So you should probably subscribe and follow me on social media and buy the palette and do and all of this and live your best life free of Netflix judgment. All right, I will see you guys in a couple days and I really actually will, I promise. Okay, bye.